um, e-waste is commonly known as electronic waste, uh, but it also refers to electrical and electronic equipment that is being, you know, in its end of life. Often when you go to where there's uh, e-waste being recycled, uh, you can find a wide variety of materials um, that go from kitchen appliances uh, to computer and computer related electronics, wires and gadgets um, to even uh, weapons or um, printers and uh, medical equipment, even Christmas lights. So many toys and um, camera video equipment, um, a lot of uh, instrumentation and sensors, uh, even toothbrushes. Uh, there's just a wide variety of things that actually end up becoming uh, e-waste. E-waste is produced wor worldwide. Um, most homes produce e-waste, uh, but I think a lot of the e-waste um, is also produced by institutions like um, universities, hospitals, um, companies. Uh, many times computers are changed every few years in, in a whole building uh, and that all becomes um, commonly e-waste. And so <clears throat> there's a lot of um, electronic waste uh, that comes from developed countries uh, primarily uh, but even uh, developed countries are now, um, you know, producing a lot of e-waste. Um, and now that we're changing cell phones all the time, it, there's definitely a lot of e-waste um, being generated every year. At least in the United States, um, in the last two decades, uh, there's definitely been huge efforts in terms of recycling of electronics, uh, which is wonderful. Uh, however, not a lot of the electronic waste actually is recycled, unfortunately. Um, and so much of it ends up um, being just uh, thrown with the rest of the waste. Um, and so for example, in homes, um, if you throw something in the garbage, it would most likely go into the landfill or being incinerated. Um, but in some instances, um, when the garbage is sorted, um, there could be some identification of some of the electronic waste uh, in there. If that happens, which is more commonly with uh, bigger items, then it's usually then taken into a recycling facility. Now the recycling facility is usually um, sorted and um, dismantled um, and some parts of it are usually uh, process so that you can get to the components of the e-waste uh, and it can be recycled or managed that way. Uh, many companies nowadays also do a lot of repair and reuse and resell uh, or repurpose. Um, and it's, it's really an industry that has innovated um, a lot in the sustainability um, of these uh, materials. There's um, many health concerns that arise uh, because of the disposal of e-waste. There's a lot of safety issues uh, because many of these workplaces um, are putting apart, um, you know, materials. Uh, so there's shredders or sometimes it's done manually. Uh, and there's a lot of sharps and uh, there can be heat um, and sometimes if there is a shredder involved, uh, there can also be a lot of dust. Uh, sometimes the electronics themselves bring a lot of dust. Um, and so when they're put apart, um, there can be um, broken material that also produces a lot of dust. Um, and so there's definitely a lot of chemical concerns, uh, but there's also a lot of uh, physical concerns um, beyond heat and, and safety. Um, because of the repetitive um, nature of the work. Uh, there's also a lot of musculoskeletal um, uh, related um, 
issues uh, that could derive from this type of work. So most workers that um, do, for example, sorting of materials, um, there's usually low risk of exposure by handling the materials when they're intact. However, if the materials uh, for some reason break um, or have like, have, you know, broke, have broken in, in, in the transport of the materials to the site, especially because a lot of e-waste is pulled together in trucks, um, then there's definitely opportunities for workers to be exposed to some of the components of the e-waste uh, or some of the dust that comes along, um, materials that have been um, not preserved intact in transport. Um, and these can involve also very hazardous materials. So for example, there can be uh, PCBs leaking from ballasts. Um, there can be mercury uh, in all thermometers that broke. Uh, there can be lead or cadmium if a cathode ray tube from an old television breaks, for example. We know very little about um, health uh, concerns in this industry is a very relatively new industry. Uh, there hasn't been many studies. Um, we know a lot from the informal sector um, and there's definitely um, good reports in terms of um, injuries and physical hazards um, from even the formal facilities. Uh, but in terms of illnesses and long-term uh, health effects, um, you know, there, there's just a lot that we're yet to, to know more about. It can be uh, because uh, a lot of the e-waste um, is most highly produced in developed countries. And um, a lot of the processing of electronics um, actually relies on, on those um, more developing countries. Um, and they have suffered tremendously with um, piles of e-waste uh, in the informal sector that benefits their economy, but it has tremendous uh, long-term impacts um, on health and their environment. Um, and while in developed countries, uh, there's also some health equity issues as well, because you know most of those uh, that um, have the luxury to enjoy electronics, ele electrical uh, equipment in their homes and cars and workplaces and hobbies, et cetera, um, are those less likely to be affected by all these exposures when the, these materials go into the end of life and are processed. Um, therefore, you know, when, um, you know, the, the workers that process these materials are, those are going to be less likely to um, enjoy these, these um, electronic materials um, during their lifetime. <clears throat> and uh, the workers in this industry are often in a lot of precarious employment. Um, and highly um, high rates of immigrant workers and low wage works um, that um, makes it makes them more prone uh, to have uh, difficulties in health and safety because it's much harder to train um, a lot of new workers um, and especially those that may not be necessarily speaking English and so um, there's definitely a lot of challenges, even in developed countries, in, uh, in terms of equity.